Hey everyone, Percy here. How you doing? Okay, now let's talk about publishing your music. Now let's say that you've created some music, you've created a song maybe, you've recorded everything, you've mixed everything, everything is done. But now, how do you know when it's ready to be published? Well, this is a pretty technical area that not many of us, including myself, are not an expert at. Luckily, there are some very good tools out there to help you to check if your music meets certain criteria. Now, just a few days ago, Sonable has released a new plugin bundle which does exactly that. So this plugin bundle is called the Metering Bundle. It consists of two different plugins. So first of all, we have True Balance. Now, True Balance is basically a spectral balance analyzer. Basically, it will check the balance in your music across the frequency spectrum. Um, and then we have True Level, and True Level will also check your uh, loudness, also the dynamics and the true peak levels in your music. So let's take a quick look at these two plugins. By the way, should you be interested, I will leave an affiliate link in the description. So go check it out if you like. But for now, let's check out these plugins. Okay, now let's start with True Balance. Now this is what it looks like. And how it works is this. So first of all, we need to select a reference and there are two ways we can do that. So first of all, from this drop-down menu here, we can select a typical genre-based spectral reference. As you can see, there are several genres we can choose. So let's choose pop in this case. And when we start playing the music, in this area, you can see that the spectral curve of the music is being compared to the reference that we've just selected. And also up here, uh, you can see some numbers. Um, and for each of the bands, so either low, mids or highs, you can see if you're kind of hitting the target or as they say, so if you're in the reference zone, the numbers will turn green, otherwise they will be white. And if the numbers are white, it means there is something in your mix that might need some attention. So that's basically as simple as it is. Now, as I mentioned, there's also another way of creating a reference. If we look at this area right here, you can see that we have eight different slots. And in each of these slots, we can uh, load a reference track. Now, you might have some reference tracks on your computer. Well, you can load them in here. We can also activate and deactivate them by clicking on them. But from all the active tracks, True Balance will create a kind of average and it will compare that to your music. Now, one very handy tool over here is the balance check. So if we click that, then uh, True Balance will give you some written hints, some tips uh, about what you could do to make your music hit the targets. So super useful. Now, and then down here, you can see some information about the width and the correlation in your music spread out over the lows, the mids and the highs. And then finally, let me show you this mono check. Uh, if you click this, then True Balance will show you if there are some mono compatibility issues in your music and it will also give you some tips on how to fix that. So again, super, super useful. Okay, now let's take a look at True Level. Now, True Level has a lot of similarities to True Balance. So again, to start, we need to select a certain reference. So first of all, over here, we can select a loudness reference, which is connected to a certain uh, streaming platform, because of course they all have different demands. So for example, let's say that we plan to publish on iTunes. Okay, let's choose iTunes. And then over here, we can select a dynamics reference and True Level has connected that to a certain genre. So let's say that this is going to be um, pop 90s. All right. And then when we start playing the music over here, uh, horizontally, uh, you will see the dynamics being shown and uh, vertically, you will see the loudness. Um, and of course, up here, just like with True Balance, you can see whether we're hitting the targets or not. Now, a very handy tool here is the level check. And just like with True Balance, it will give you some tips uh, on how to make some changes to make your music hit the targets. Now, lastly, let me say that just like with True Balance, instead of choosing the typical references like I just did, we can also opt 
to load some reference tracks which True Level will combine into one reference which it will compare to your music. Now all in all Levels excels at giving you an overview of how you're doing in terms of loudness, in terms of dynamics and in terms of the true peak levels in your music. Okay, in conclusion. Now as I already mentioned before at the beginning of the video, um, of course, there are many different tools out there that can help you check your music, check if it's ready to be published. Now, in my opinion, I think that this plugin bundle is definitely a great option. I think these plugins are very simple. They're very easy to use. They will give you a great overview of what is going on in your mix, which is basically the entire point of it all. They will also cover most, if not all, you need to know about your music before publishing it. Um, and when, when you see that, once you see what is going on, then in most cases, you should probably kind of already know what to do to fix the problems in your music. But if you don't, then these plugins will also give you some great hints, some very useful tips to help you along. So I think it's very well done. I would definitely recommend checking this out. Certainly if you don't have any other tools already, to check your music with before publishing. Okay, so that's basically it for now from me about Sonable's metering bundle. Go check it out for yourself if you like and let me know what you think about it. For now, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.